Leashes are an integral part of a stand-up paddleboarder's safety kit. It keeps us connected to the board when it might be windy and we want to stay attached to our craft. Traditionally, leashes have come from surfing and they've been connected to our ankle or our knee. As time has progressed, we've started to use coiled leashes, which keep the leash out of the water connected from the board to the paddler. Advances in technology, we've seen the use of quick release belts. Now quick release belts are excellent. They keep the, the leash up around our waist and keep the leash again out of the water. Should we get into any trouble, an entanglement on a riverbank, a buoy, maybe a pontoon, we're able to release the belt, separating ourselves from the craft. Technology is advancing even further. Manufacturers like Palm have now introduced a specific SUP leash. It's still connected to a quick release belt and it's still connected to the tail of the board. It allows us to either release at the belt, but also for the leash to release under load should we not be able to pull the quick release belt. When we set up our leash system prior to getting onto the water, we need to make sure that the connections are correct. We connect one end of the leash to the tail of the board. We check it, often a great idea to get your paddling friends just to have a quick check for you as well. And the other end of the leash onto the quick release belt either connects directly into the belt like this new palm belt or the cuff of the leash into the quick release system as well. When we buy our quick release belts, it is crucial that we buy from a reputable manufacturer that's been designed and tested for this purpose. When we fit the quick release belt onto ourselves, we need to make sure that the tail through the buckle is reasonably short so it doesn't tangle up with anything. And also that the webbing, the tape, runs flat all the way through the buckle and is compressed. This will make sure that when you pull the belt, the tape will just pull straight through without being hindered. The reason why we've moved to quick release belts are numerous. Firstly, it keeps the leash out of the water, keeps it connected to ourselves from the, the tail of the board into the quick release belt. With more of us paddling on inland waterways, slow moving rivers, estuaries, there's a slight chance that we may become entangled. Using a quick release belt allows us to get out of the system, separating ourselves from the board and allowing us to move freely away from the hazard. Older systems that have come from surfing, either the ankle or the knee leashes, when the leash or the board is under pressure and pulling us in one direction, it is impossible to reach up and release either a knee leash or an ankle leash. But it is possible to reach to our waist and release our leash that way. We highly recommend, before you get on the water with your quick release belt or your new leash system, that you try it out on dry land. That's to make sure that you can pull the belt correctly and it releases correctly. Try it out with a friend, adding a bit of pressure to the belt. Do this on dry land in a super safe environment. Get used to it, so if you ever have to use it in anger, you know where the buckle is and you know what to do.